Hey guys, I am Debra Sharkar and this is OpenTunes and today we are going to be talking about character rigging in OpenTunes. Some of you may know that Toons animation software used by Studio Ghibli have become open source, naming it OpenTunes. As the Japanese publisher Drango signed a contract with Italian company Digital Video, the maker of Toons, and this can make OpenTunes the industry standard for 2D animation. The software is constantly updating their features, making it much more easier to work with. So this tutorial is going to be about character rigging for animation in OpenTunes. So I will assume that you have a knowledge of the basics of how to use OpenTunes. So we are going to use mainly a combination of three different type of tools for the animation here. So in the three type of animation, one of them is the frame by frame animation. To give you a demonstration how to do a simple frame by frame animation, I have made this circle and I am going to copy this circle and paste it into frame 10. Then I am going to do some random modifications to it. And I am not going to draw each and every frame but I am going to use another very useful tool of open tools which is uh, which is auto in between tools it will create automatically in between for you I have already frame 1 added in the X sheet so, so I will uh, select from frame 2 to frame 10 I will add them to our X sheet now we can play it in, in the camera view so this is a simple frame by frame animation so moving on to our second type of animation tool which will be useful for character rigging which is the skeleton tool so what i have done here is i have created three different shapes and uh, this time i have created uh, these shapes in separate columns or layers and to build a skeleton first we have to create the center points or the pivot points uh, of our objects by default they will be at the middle of the camera so we will select the uh, this what is it called uh, this edit tool and we will select now center and we will change the center for each and every every shapes to the place we want uh, now we will create the skeleton uh, there is two different ways to create a skeleton one way to way is you know like this directly using the skeleton tool but i don't like to do this way kind of gets messy so what i will do is i will use the schematic uh, window in here you can see all our objects are here which is connected to the table all these different columns are connected to the tables and the ta tables uh, table is connected to the camera and so in order to create a bone a skeleton structure we have to you know add some hierarchies and um, some parent child relationship between uh, these these shapes so what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect this blue point to this red point making this green object a child of the red object red shape and uh, I'll connect then the this blue point to this red point thus I will create a this circle a child of the green uh, rectangle so now if we will select this red object and we will move uh, move it by select position from the edit tool then all the object changes with it because they are the child of the main uh, object here and again if we change it here and can if, if we change the position of this any transfer value of this green object it will move the child object but the, but the child object uh, uh, this purple uh, circle is independent because it's not parented to any other object if we select the rotation tool we will see that the same thing with the rotation so now you can use it like this i like to arrange you know these pivot points and make them parent and child to one another and uh, i like to you know re characters like this we can also create this this bone tool now you can also create the bone tool and now you can find that the bone is already have been built so you can go to the animate mode and you can select a particular point and you can animate it like this this is just simple what we were doing with the edit tool the, by using the rotation tool the bone tool makes this a little bit handy uh, to work with so the third type of tool which is very valuable for um, character rigging is uh, the plastic tool uh, to do that I have to create this hand type of shape and I will use this plastic tool to do that at first we have to create a mesh which is going to create a mesh around the object you can just apply it and then in the build 
skeleton mode you can just start creating a skeleton then by going to the animate mode we can animate this object very fluidly you can see uh, it creates another uh, column here for the mesh and you can hide the mesh if you want by using this plastic tool one thing you can see that after using uh, applying this plastic tool it created a border around it but don't worry about it in the final render it's not going to exist another thing is about the uh, plastic tool is the paint rigid tool by using this tool you can determine which portion of the mesh you want it to be a rigid body or a flex or a flexible skinning type of mesh and to do that we can you know we can paint red here so this portion will not going to be flexible it's going to act like a solid so we can create you know a combination of rigid body or soft body and now if we go to the animate mode and hide this mesh you can see the difference of course this shape that we have created is not right for this example but you can get the idea so one more thing here uh, which is important for character rigging when you are using plastic tool the, here is two examples after creating the meshes let's start building uh, the skeleton for let's say this shape and for this one we will create a bone structure just like this when you create these joints one after each other what it does is it creates again a hierarchy relationship parent child relationship like this so this is one way to do it and another way you, uh, to do it is building these uh, bones completely independently from uh, each other and to do that what you can do is you can create uh, the main joint somewhere outside of the shape then create the other joints go back to the first root joint and then create the sub joints when you build uh, the skeleton like this what you can do is while animating uh, you can change the shape completely independently from each other while in this type of uh, bone structure there is always a hierarchy a parenting thing is going on uh, so it's completely what you need in your project for this character rigging example i will create this type of independent you know bone structure mainly I have built a cartoony character and if you take a look at the egg sheet you can see all the body parts I have uh, created all these body parts in different columns like shoes and legs upper bone and the lower bone and the hands the arms and the head a separate column for hair eyebrow eye and the retina eyeball and the body and uh, hands and arms and everything one important thing is you should always always uh, level properly for every one of your individual columns otherwise it will get completely messy when you are uh, rigging a character so it's an important thing to remember in this example just to give you a quick demonstration i haven't uh, named any of the uh, any of the shapes any of the columns but you should do it and here is a schematic view you can see all the different uh, columns are connected to the table so after drawing the object uh, what i have done is I have moved all the pivot points, all the centers of the object in right place. Like for the upper leg, the joint should be here, and the lower, the knee joint should be here, so on and so forth. For the arms, the joints are on the shoulders. So, as I have shown you in the earlier example, you just have to replace the center of your object of the column where it's needed. For the body, it's at the pelvis, and this is for the arm for the hand and everything now we can simply select the rotate tool and you know rotate the hand like this you don't have to worry about the distorted shape under the hand uh, that's why the plastic tool comes handy you can move them very easily you don't have to edit them all the time so to create a proper rigging we first have to um, you know join those those individual pieces in right hierarchy system like this hand should be attached to this arm layer so to do that i will simply select this blue ball and uh, i'll connect this blue ball to the red ball of the arm and as i've shown you earlier example i will connect this object to this object and that's how when you transform this hand all the child layers uh, transform accordingly for each and every other parts also like i will add the body uh, the head to the body and to do that I will connect this blue ball to the red ball then this to pay the hair 
and the similar way the you can you can obviously add multiple objects to a parent object so I have connected the eyebrow and the eyeball to the face also this retina and for the legs I will connect the upper leg to the lower leg the lower leg to the foot the shoe so we have to connect this arm to the body and by doing it when you move the body the arms also uh, moves with it so you've got the general idea I'll skip the whole this whole process and let's see how it looks like after that so after you know connecting all these different pieces we can use the plastic tool to get much more flexibility I'll select the head uh, the body and then I will select the, the plastic tool I'll create a mesh around it I'll apply it and I will build a split in the way I have shown you earlier the root joint will be outside of the of the object of the body and then I will create all the different joints then if we go to the animate view then you can see we can also bend our character like this one important thing to remember here when you are moving this uh, this is the main body part you cannot uh, transform the main body part here because it will be outside of the mesh that it have created for this particular column so to do that we have to you know transform the the mesh layer and so to do that we again we have to reposition the center and now we can transform the mesh layer now we can transform this mesh layer and also we can use the plastic tool like this I think you are getting the idea so coming back to the schematic if we select let's say this thigh this upper leg layer and we create a plastic deformation in it and we create some bones now we can animate this bone like this but to get some more flexibilities to get some more details we can add some extra bones in it which will be like subjoints and by doing that what what's gonna happen is uh, again we will just reposition the center what's gonna happen is uh, by adding this extra joints we can make these tiny details like the flakes of the muscles and all those things uh, or we don't have to draw each and every frame this way so it's very useful so I'll skip this whole bind skeleton and making bind plastic tools uh, process and I'll come back to when I'm finishing uh, doing uh, rigging the character after finishing all the rigging and jointing all the different pieces together my schematic view looks something like this as you can see I have created two more peg layers which will be like a master layer by selecting and changing this layer we can move uh, the whole character which is connected to this body mesh and then leg mesh and the leg left leg and right, right leg and the mesh objects is connected to the actual objects and then come all the different parts and they are plastic mesh and uh, as you can see I did not have created any plastic mesh for the you know hands I have created for the arms upper arms and lower arms but I did not create them for the hands because I wanted to do you know frame by frame animation for the for the hands and as you can see here if you select the hands you can see you can see all the fist different drawings of fists so yeah and if we take a look at the the plastic tool meshes the body kind of look like this so we have all these little joints that we can move when you need these are for the legs and for the face you know to give a little bit of squash and stretch for the arms also we don't need too many joints here so what happens is when we rotate the upper arm if this top portion started to show then we can select the plastic tool and we can hide it like this again when we move it up to fill this gap we can use the plastic tool and move it like this and you can see all it also gives this kind of organic bend and all and uh, also I have added plastic deformation for uh, the eyebrows so we don't have to draw them 
it's necessary for the hands so i have frame by frame draw, drawing animation for the hands and so that's it and let me show you how the animation looks like so after finishing the animation you can see uh, the movements are real, very organic for the legs you can see if we select the plastic tool you can see all the different joints are moving and giving us this kind of smooth uh, mesh type of deformation for the body also that's it for the hands some important things to see here that how much it uh, does the work for us even when we have you know squash the uh, the mesh like this in the in the render view it looks quite well right so it so that saves a lot of time right so that's why this plastic tool is very powerful you can see here all the all the bends and stretching and for the hands you can see let's say for this this hand i have created this hand drawn so there is you can see three type of tools that have been used hand on animation the the creep animation for uh, the skeleton tools and the and the plastic deformation tool and all these tools creates this kind of smooth deformation with our object for the eyes you can see i could have used the plastic tool but i have chosen using the frame by frame animation tool because of the powerful in between tools that i have shown you earlier uh, it creates all the in betweens and it didn't take many time to you know create all these diff different eyes and for the head yes though i have used the plastic tool on the top of the of the main layer i have used all these different face shapes i have drawn these different faces and the interesting thing here you can you know change all these different shapes in the uh, main column like you can see uh, for the face uh, it's changing like there is the drawing number 1 and then comes drawing number 6 and then drawing number 2 then drawing number 6 again and then, uh, then drawing number 4 but as well uh, on top of this whole column we are using this mesh where the plastic tool is used for this kind of stretching and uh, everything so this is uh, the combination of frame by frame animation and the plastic tool deformation which is really great and that's it